hi 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 it's Tahia here and so in today's video I will show you how we can uh, prepare a retrospective uh, meeting in Agile as a business analyst and without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial so first let's take a look at why we have uh, this kind of meeting so um, retrospective meeting is you to improve the teamwork by reflecting on what worked what didn't and why it's kind of like a process of continuous improvement um, and normally it would be done at the end of a sprint and um, they, uh, normally you would need 15 minutes for prep time 16 minutes run time and the team uh, size is from 4 to 8 people so there are many ways to do it um, but in this in this um, tutorial I will show you how you can do it with um, a template from Atlassian so I will show you I will put the link down in the description box below um, so first you would go here and you open in Confluence uh, create the account and then you clone the template okay so after you clone it you will have um, you will have a, a retrospective meeting like this um, and you will start to um, start to work on um, the collaboration document so let's take a look at the template so we have the title of the meeting so retrospective meeting on November next is the overview uh, which is the date of the meeting the name of the team and the participant um, and for the retrospective there are three uh, components um, of a table that uh, a team member will start to give the input so the first one is start doing is that the um, embedding action that needs to be taken um, as soon as possible stop doing is for example an outdated way of doing something that needs to be stopped and keep doing um, is maybe a right way to do something and uh, you should uh, keep on doing that so that is the three uh, key components that everyone needs to give the input um, and after this one we would have the action item is what we learn from the input and we start to list out the item that need to be taken um, starting from the next sprint okay so after that you will send um, this document to all of your team members so that they start to give the input and there are some rules so don't take it too personal um, and um, accept valid criticism with open mind uh, because the experience is valid and you also have time to discuss it later and you set the period that you start discussing and um, the purpose of this meeting needs to be focused on the improvement rather than placing the blame on anyone um, so next we would go through and um, review all the things that uh, everyone have uh, put in the document from what we did well first okay so I would uh, so take a look here for example um, you can you can go to this part and put in your input for example as the start doing you would say uh, something like uh, something like conducting a weekly meeting with the customer to discuss the requirement and for the stop doing uh, you can say that uh, reduce the amount of email sent because um, emails can really be uh, distracting um, and finally keep doing you can say uh, um, creating um, more select channel to um, to better classify the message um, okay so that is the third one um classify the message efficiently yes yeah, so after that you will go through you would um, start a zoom meeting for example with the team and start to review everything here from the start doing this one and discuss um, what can be improved um, and stop doing 
and keep doing i mean review everything here and everyone uh start to um start brainstorming what action can be taken for example um here we have the starting to get the customer to buy um, to prepare the account for the service for implementation so that's really all um aws which is amazon um, cloud service and um, the action would be the developer will find a tutorial on how to create the account and so that the ba can um, work with the customer to create so the account also for the stop doing for example everyone suggests um, conducting the meeting the stand-up meeting earlier every day from 10 a.m and move up to 9 a.m so you will say that i change the stand-up meeting to 9 a.m and update the official doc and for the um the ones that i just input here so conducting a weekly uh, meeting with the customer um after the discuss you can write something like um, um so um give the customer some head ups about the weekly meeting about the weekly meeting and also make necessary change to the slack um, and on the communication okay so this is the new one so ap after all of these um, action have been discussed and review um, you can publish the document and send to every team member and store it in the project um, the project drive to store the document and uh, you can reflect on this in the next sprint retrospective okay so yeah so this is how i create um, and conduct a, a retrospective meeting i hope this helps um, and if and you can use this in your work as well so i hope you like it and if you learn something new please consider hitting like subscribe support my channel i really appreciate and see you in the next video bye